Happening now, a much anticipated business boom for downtown Columbus. Nearly 40,000 people expected to come to GalaxyCon. TTV's Brian Somerville is live downtown there now. And Brian, there have been years of anticipation behind this weekend's event. Andrew, I don't know what heaven looks like. I've never, never been there, but I can't imagine that it would be too far off from where I am right now. So here at GalaxyCon, this is just one of the autograph rows. I want to show you some of the most iconic names in Star Wars history. Matt Lanter, you may not know him, Andrew. Let me teach you something. He played Anakin Skywalker in the Clone Wars. Then you have right here, you won't see fire, you won't see rain, but you know what you will see? James Arnold Taylor, who voices Obi-Wan Kenobi in the Clone Wars. And let's go over here. And last but not least, the one, the only, around all of this crowd of people, Ashley Eckstein, who voices Ahsoka Tano in the Clone Wars. You might see her in just a second. But this event, the biggest Comic-Con that Ohio has ever seen. So that's an extra. After more than two years. But people really love it. Jorge Cargill is happy to be stocking his booth. But he's definitely a very popular uh, character. Due to COVID, he's been holding on to about two years worth of stock. So far, I'm the only person that had these, and I only brought like 12. So. All of it on full display at this weekend's GalaxyCon. It's an awesome experience to be able to come back to real life and not having to have this virtual cons or virtual online. The three-day event expected to see about 40,000 people and through restaurants, hotels, and shopping is expected to pump about $2 million into Columbus. It makes GalaxyCon the biggest event of its kind. Yeah, man. In Ohio. I know. Fernando Sanchez, like Carhel, one of 450 vendors, thankful to be back in person. Um, it's just great to see where people came from and then pretty much the whole background is what makes it really good. Arguably, though, no one is more excited for in person. Kyle, what'd you do with the Osokas? Than the celebrities. About that, but first, I gotta ask, what do you think of this suit? I'm obsessed with the suit. Okay, I knew you would be. Yeah. Ashley Eckstein. For all you Star Wars fans out there, the voice of Ahsoka Tano, the two lightsaber wielding Targruda from the Clone Wars to Rebels. And yes, before you ask, she does have a favorite line. Most fans would expect me to say, I know Jedi. Did anyone else get goosebumps? <laughs> <laughs> anyone else? Anyone else? No, just me? Okay. Yeah. For so, her, no. what matters the most? The answer to me is easy. It's the fans. The interactions, the faces, the smiles, a sense of normalcy following a pandemic. We've all experienced a trauma in a way, or we know someone who's experienced a trauma. And the most important thing we could do right now is be kind and help people, no matter what. Be kind and help people no matter what. Eckstein, by the way, considers Columbus her second home and get this, I want to show you this if my photographer Dan can come on down here with me. Eckstein also spends a lot of her time partnering with Nationwide Children's Hospital, specifically with the initiative of On Our Sleeves, speaking about children, speaking about mental health issues, something she is extremely passionate about.